Prince Harry's behavior is being controlled by his wife's body language, an expert has claimed. Jesus Enrique Roses has told how the Duchess of Sussex uses subtle hand gestures to stop her husband from doing things she doesn't not approve or, such as talking. It has been reported that the expert made the claims having following the pair at public events since 2019. He said, Meghan and Harry were attending the Well Child Awards back in 2019, and they were talking to some of the families attending. And I think this was the last family they were talking to because they were sitting along the wall, and this was at the far corner, and in fact, it was the end of the video. But Harry was still talking to them, in a quite engaging way, and then Meghan just stands up and literally, and silently commands Harry to stop and stand up just using her body language. And this is not the only time she's been caught in camera interrupting Harry out cold. There's the, Commonwealth Day 2019, video where she does exactly the same, or the red dress video, their visit to the annual Salute to Freedom Gala in New York City, November 10, 2021 where she uses that hand cue to get Harry going and of course, the direct shut your mouth in Oprah's interview. Earlier this week, it was also claimed that Meghan doesn't have any plans to change the British public's perception about her, as it is a lost cause according to one royal expert. The Duchess of Sussex has not returned to the UK since the pair quit the royal family and moved to California in 2020. Royal biographer and investigative journalist Tom Bauer made the claim ahead of the release of his new book on Meghan. He told, Britain is a lost cause for the Sussexes. In truth, I suspect Meghan no longer cares whether she is welcome in London. She has no intention of returning. In the other hand, analyzing the Duke's recent appearance, Mr. Stanton said Harry is refreshed by some time away from the public eye. Mr. Stanton said, his lifestyle in California, and even just being away from the constant pressures of living a set routine as a royal, will have helped with this and it looks like he is finding his feet in his new life. His voice tone and pitch are also significant in showing his mental state. In prior press conferences, his tone is very solemn and monotone. In his media appearances this week, however, we have heard a range of pitches and a mix of emotions. Prince Harry, who is sixth in line to the throne and Meghan Markle now live in a Montecito mansion in Santa Barbara. Mr. Stanton added said Harry will continue to become even more settled in his life in California. He added, we will likely see a much happier version of Harry, particularly where he is becoming even more involved in his charity work and being an ambassador for good around the world like his mother was. The Queen's grandson appeared on a virtual panel for Better Up with tennis star and close friend Serena Williams and Alexei Robichaux, Better Up co-founder and CEO. Harry was announced as the company's chief impact officer in March 2021, but this was the first time he has appeared for the business. During his appearance, he also gave some insight into his relaxed California lifestyle saying that he has to meditate every single day. Harry said, one of the kids has gone to school, the other one is taking a nap, right there is a break in our program, it's either for a workout, take the dog for a walk, get out in nature maybe meditate. I'm the same as Serena, Williams, I know that I need to meditate every single day. Mr. Stanton pointed out that before Harry left to move across the pong he was seen in a number of photos and videos showing sign of anxiety and stress, a stark contrast to recent images where he looks a lot more relaxed. He said, he looks healthier overall. His shoulders look more set, showing a lack of tension and rigidness. His smile seemed authentic and he looked a lot more comfortable in himself. The question remains as to whether the Duke and Duchess will return for the Queen's Platinum Jubilee celebrations after Harry threatened legal action against the Home Office who refused him permission to fund his own police protection whilst in the UK. But royal commentator Neil Sean predicts Harry will return solo, leaving his wife Meghan Markle and two children, Archie and Lilibet at home in the US. Mr. Sean said, he knows that too much focus will be put on her and them rather than the person that it should be which of course should be Our Glorious Majesty the Queen, and in memory of a wonderful man, His Royal Highness the Duke of Edinburgh. The UK will celebrate the Queen's milestone anniversary with a four-day bank holiday in June.